happens with this kind of situation. Um, this is a system of linear equations of two variables. Let's just call this equation one, equation two. Um, right now it's in a specific form. It's, it's already, you know, has y isolated for me, which is awesome. So because the y is already isolated for me, I'm going to use substitution. Okay, so I choose substitution based on the representation of the equation to begin with, of the system. And I can take 2 minus 3x and replace y in equation 1 with that. So 6x plus 2 times y in place of y goes 2 minus 3x. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah. is equal to 7. Sorry, guys. Had a brain fart. 6x plus 2 times y, which is now 2 minus 3x. I substituted 2 minus 3x for y is equal to 7. Now I used equation 2 for substitution, so I'm substituting it into equation 1. Notice that now I have an equation of just one variable, which I can solve easily. Right? Distribute the 2. 4 minus 6x is equal to 7. Ooh, look what happens. The 6x minus 6x goes. I get 4 is equal to 7. I get a false statement. False statement. Um, what does a false statement tell me? Well, obviously I can't solve for the variable, so it's not, it's not a single solution. But when I go and, and um, deal with this situation and I get a false statement, that indicates that there is no solution. Well, what does that mean? That means that this is the parallel line situation. If I were to graph these two lines, they would be parallel. They would never intersect. Therefore, there is no solution. There's no point of intersection. There's no point that satisfies both equations. So this is an inconsistent system, no solution to it. Um, sometimes we say, you know, solution set contains, uh, it's the empty set. If you were to solve um, a system of equations and get a true statement, let's assume, you know, I did this and I got 7 equal to 7. What if, right? This were the case. If I got the situation 7 equal to 7, now the variables canceled, but I got a true statement that implies that the two equations are the same. And this shows me that I get infinite solutions. This is the um, situation where I have the same line, infinite solutions. Every point on one satisfies the other. And sometimes what we do is we represent the ordered pair as, you know, in this case, y in terms of x. I represent the ordered pair in terms of a single variable. So in this case, I'm representing the ordered pair in terms of x. So any x that I plug in here, I can get my y. And this is an easy substitution because y is equal to 2 minus 3x, so I just put it in here. Um, that's a what-if situation. What if, you know, I satisfy, I go through and I solve the system and I get a true statement, then I know there's infinite solutions. And, you know, sometimes you just say infinite solutions and that's it. Sometimes you actually show the ordered pair as an infinite solution ordered pair where you, you know you represent it in terms of one variable in terms of x or y